Croeso Cynes in Gwasanae. Welcome to our service. As we come together to celebrate the Feast of All Saints and to commemorate the faithful departed. During this service, there will be the opportunity to light a candle in memory of a loved one. So may I suggest that in a moment you press the pause button and go and get a candle ready. <music> We pray together, Heavenly Father, Dad Neville, Dad Neville, a my poor Calon and a Gored Eti, Ni Athlon Gidio in dim or the earth it, Glan ha ni a flam de a sprit glan, a muni ni de gary at the dolly in Fadlon, Tracy Greestain Hartloid. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In the silence we call to mind our sins. And we'll now make our confession and we say the words in Welsh or in English, according to our preference. So let us confess our sins to the Father and seek his pardon and peace. Dad Neville, a red and pechi ar vedl gair argui thread, a hebuneder hin adalem, when we are through genim, a kavadimul di vriven a devar hai, a moin the barb yes egris, a bevaru drossom. Madea in your cupola light hapio, a carrywine knee and a fourth air, he carried that well plant, a goleni. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you and set you free from sin. 
strengthen you in goodness and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hwyl a lleog ddiw, cysylltaist yn hyd dy ethol edigion yn un cymundeb a chymdeithas yn nirgel gorff dy fad, Christ ein hartlwydd. Can ye ta i ni ras i ddilyn dy saint gwyn fydedig mewn bichet yn weddol a diwion. Fel y delon i'r llawenydd anrheithol hwnnw a baratoiast i'r rhai sy'n dywyr garu. Trwy es i grys dy fab ein hartlwydd, i'r hwn gyda thi ar ysbryd glân y bod dewnas y gallu a'r gwbwniant yn oes oesoi. Amen. The reading from the Gospel according to St Matthew, the Beatitudes. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you, and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Drag with all the you in Creator and Guarector. Can you ta your horse for the Loniac and Madawetic, Loniac secure your divine Achibol, the Vab? Bella redeemed you with that. Pan Gesli Bopeth and Christ, a can't go in high thunder to Adi with John. Try a cigris, the Vab in Hartloid, see the new at Conternasi Gidathi are a spirit land, and in the new. An hour a can be. Amen. Bydd pob un y mae'r tad yn ei roi i mi yn dod ata fi. Ac ni fwriaf allan byth mor sawl sy'n dod ata fi oherwydd y rwyf wedi disgyn o'r nef. Nid yw wneud fy ewyllus fy hun, ond ewyllus yr hwn am hanfonodd i. Ac ewyllus yr hwn am hanfonodd i yw hyn. Nid wyf i golli neb o'r rhai yma ef wedi ei rhoi i mi, ond fy mod yw hatgyfodi yn y dydd olaf. Oherwydd y wyllus fy'n had yw hyn, fod pob un sy'n gweld y mab ac yn credu ynddo i gael bywyd rhagwyddol, a bydda fi'n ei atgyfodi yn y dydd olaf. Glory and honour and power are yours by right, O Lord, our God. For you created all things, and by your will they have their being. For with you is the well of life, and in your light shall we see light.
The Significant Hours of Our Lives by Albert Schweitzer I always think that we all live spiritually by what others have given us in the significant hours of our life. These significant hours do not announce themselves as coming, but arrive unexpectedly. Nor do they make a great show of themselves. They pass almost unperceived. Often, indeed, their significance comes home to us first as we look back, just as the beauty of a piece of music or a landscape often strikes us first in our recollection of it. Much that has become our own in gentleness, modesty, kindness, willingness to forgive, in veracity, loyalty, resignation under suffering, we owe to people in whom we have seen and experienced these virtues at work sometimes in a great matter, sometimes in a small. A thought which has become an act sprang into us like a spark and lit a new flame within us. If we had before us those who have thus been a blessing to us and could tell them how it came about, they would be amazed to learn what passed over from their life into ours. Almighty God, we come together as those whom you have called into fellowship to be your people. We come as part of the great company of your people in heaven and on earth, picking up the torch of those who have run the race before us and kept the faith. We come to remember those whom we have loved, who no longer share our earthly lives, and to dedicate ourselves to honouring their memory. Lord, in your mercy, hear the prayers we offer. Remind us of the rich heritage you have given to us, the great cloud of witnesses to which we belong. Thank you for the way you have spoken throughout history to countless generations of believers and for the example we have been given to follow through disciples and apostles and through the saints of old. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We are called to build for the future, to pass on the message we have received. Help us when our love for you is weak, our commitment poor, and our own discipleship half-hearted. Speak now to our hearts, that our faith be deepened and our resolve to serve you be strengthened. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those for whom commitment is costly, those who face hostility and persecution for the sake of the gospel. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. As we think of our loved ones lost to us, we look back with gratitude for all the things which made them such a special part of our lives. We pray for your continued comfort in the present, your strength and support, peace and guidance, your help to go on loving. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May we, your church everywhere, offer our worship and service in word and deed to the glory of your name. May the hope of the gospel bring the help that is needed in our time, the strength to endure. And may all Christians today look forward in faith, knowing that in Christ nothing is impossible. We offer these prayers in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the language of our hearts, we say together the prayer that Jesus Christ taught us. Ein tad, er nuit yn y nefoedd, sanctaithio dyr enw, deled y deyrnas, gwneled yr awyllus, megis yn y nef, felly ar y ddeyar hefyd. Dyr o'r un i heddiw ein barra benyddiol, a ma ddau ni ein dyledion, fel y maddiwn ni nain un dyledwyr, ac nac arwain ni brofedigaeth, eithi chwareg ni rhag drwg, can i seid o ti yw'r deynas, a'r gallu, a'r gogoniant, yn oes oes oedd. Amen. Mae dy eglwys lan 
Anaros Bithandis Ithgariad Maur Doroner Thagwele Digaeth Arglwydd Ando Waith O Hyd A Thewoth Isdi Awneler Rhoddydiw i chwi ei ddiddanwch a'i dangnefedd, ei oleni a'i lawenydd, yn y byd hwn ar y byd sydd i ddod, a bendith diw holl alliog, y tad, y mab a'r ysbriglan, a fyn eich pleith ac adrigo gyda chwi yn wastad. Amen. Diolch am y muno anu heddiw. Dwch yn ôl dydd sil nesaf. Un gwasanaeth sil y cofio. Thank you for joining us today. Why not join us next Sunday for a Remembrance Sunday service?